In this video, I'd like to look at an application or word problem that relates to solving systems of equations. And so, as with the previous videos of word problems, it's not just can you solve the equation or equations and get the answer. That's sort of the second phase of the problem. What's usually the more difficult part is the setup. So obviously we're not given an equation or a system of equations to solve. It's our goal to create that ourselves. And that's what makes word problems definitely more difficult or more challenging than problems where we're just given an equation and you know, solve for x or given a system of equations and solve for x and y. All right, so let's look at this problem. Ron and Kathy are ticket sellers at their class play. Ron handling student tickets that sell for a dollar each. Kathy selling adult tickets for five fifty each. If their total income for twenty three tickets was ninety dollars and fifty cents, how many tickets did Ron sell? Now, as always, with every word problem I've worked through in any of my videos, the first step is always the same. Identify what is unknown in the problem. Now, there might be one unknown, there might be multiple unknowns, and give them a symbol. And normally that's the last statement or the last sentence. So in this question, how many tickets did Ron sell? So we're looking for number of tickets, and that's unknown. And just because the problem doesn't say how many did Ron and Kathy each sell, we don't know how many tickets Ron sold, and we don't know how many tickets Kathy sold. So let's give these symbols. Now, we don't need to solve for, I mean, our final answer is not going to be both, but we still have two unknowns here that we're working with. We don't know how many tickets Ron sold. So let's say X could be number of, ooh, number of tickets from Ron and Y could be number of tickets from Kathy. Number of tickets from Kathy. So to answer this specific question, we're, we need X, but we can't work with just the X without also working with the Y. Okay. So now we have a symbol for number of tickets sold by Ron. And we have a symbol for number of tickets sold by Kathy. Now, since we have two variables, we need two equations. So let's see what information we're presented in this problem. Well, we know Ron sells tickets for $1 each, but we don't know how many he sold. We know Kathy is selling them for five fifty dollars each, but we don't know how many she sold. But let's look at that next sentence. If their total income for 23 tickets was $90.50. How many tickets did Ron sell? All right, so that's some information that we need here. We know how many tickets were sold. 23 tickets were sold. And we also know the amount collected, the total amount collected. So we know something about total number of tickets, and we know something about total number of dollars. So that second piece of information is that, let's say, a total of $90.50 was made. Okay, so we, we have one piece of information about total number of tickets. We have one piece of information about total number of dollars. Now, each one of these, we could convert into an equation. Now, we don't know how many tickets Ron or Kathy each sold, but we know that they add up to 23. So the number of tickets sold by Ron plus the number of tickets sold by Kathy equals the total number of tickets. So Ron's tickets plus Kathy's tickets equal total tickets. And now for the second equation. We don't know how much money each of them made, but we know the total 
was $90.50. So how much money did Ron make? Well, $1 per ticket. So if he sold X tickets, he made X dollars. And how much money did Kathy make? Well, if she sold Y number of tickets and each ticket was 550, well, then we have to multiply 550 times the total number of tickets because it's 550 for the first, 550 for the second, 550 for the third, and so on. So 550 for each ticket. So we could say 550 times Y. So there's, you know, there's a one in front of this. One dollar per ticket for Ron, 550 per ticket for Kathy, and that equals a total of $90.50. So in blue, we have number of tickets plus number of tickets equals number of tickets. So we have to be consistent. And in green, we have number of dollars plus number of dollars equals number of dollars. Again, one equation for number of tickets, one equation for number of dollars. Okay, so that's phase one of the problem. Now, we have a system of equations. X plus Y equals 23, and X plus 550Y is equal to $90.50. So now it's no longer a word problem. Right? Now it's a system of equations. And this is something we've talked about previously. And we have two methods that we talked about for solving a system. We have substitution and we have elimination. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to solve this equation by, uh, in this case, let's use elimination. It doesn't matter. It's personal preference. Uh, substitution always works and elimination always works. Okay, so what to eliminate? Well, the question is how many tickets did Ron sell? And X is number of tickets Ron sold. So let's keep the X and get rid of the Y. So to eliminate the Y's, these, these Y's have to have, have to be equal and opposite. <clears throat> so if the second equation has positive 550Y, well, that first equation Let's make that into a negative 550y. So let's multiply that first equation by negative 550. Now again, this is the method I'm, I'm choosing. There's a few different ways of solving this problem. So when we multiply through that 550, well then this system of equations becomes, well if we multiply everything by negative 550. That first equation becomes negative 550x minus 550y equals 23 times negative 550. And if you want to use a calculator for that to just double check my work, you can, but it's going to be negative 126.5. So that's what the first equation becomes. And the second equation, let's just leave it the way it is. So that's x plus 550y equals $90.50. So now we have our y's equal and opposite. So when we do this, when we add these two equations together, they cancel. The negative 550 and the positive 550, when you combine them, you get zero. And so for the x's, well, negative 550 plus positive one, so that will be negative 450x, is equal to 36. Oh, negative 36. 
So we've iso we've uh, eliminated the y's, and now we have the equation negative 450x equals negative 36. So to solve for x, we can divide both sides by negative 450. And we will get x is equal to positive 8. Negative 36 divided by negative 4.5 is a positive 8. And on the left, the, the uh, times negative 4.5 and divided by negative 4.5, they cancel. Okay, so final answer. Ron sold 8 tickets. And now, if the problem did say how many did Ron and Kathy each sell, well, now that's pretty easy to do. If we know Ron sold eight out of the 23 tickets, if eight of them were sold by Ron, then the rest were sold by Kathy. So that means Kathy sold the other 15. Okay, that does it for this problem. And, you know, I'm going to have a few more videos each with one of these word problems worked out and they're all done pretty much the same way always the same first step identify the unknowns you're working with and give each one of them a symbol use the information given in the problem to set up two equations if you have two variables you need two equations and once you've done that You've taken the words out of the word problem, and then it becomes a system of equations problem. So let's just label this. That's part one of the problem, the setup. And this is part two of the problem, solving. So you can't solve unless you first set it up. All right, that's it for this problem. I hope it was helpful.